So, going on in monastic life, as you know, we had Scottish wars, which were a great, had a lot to do with our development even today. Edward III was killed going over into Scotland. <coughs> what about Edward II? He was an homosexual. Now today we accept homosexuality, but they didn't in those days. And as a result, the Scots came south and they incurred upon Abbey lands. And slowly but surely, we were going poor. <laughs> Not great anymore. The abbot at this monastery was Abbot Scarborough. And he found himself, he had to equip an army to send to Scotland. And he equipped an army of people like you and I, and monks. It was disastrous. They licked us, and they came even further south. Now, Edward III was a wildlife man, and he balanced things up a little bit. As you go around the church with me today, I'll show you the Jesse window, which is an important building, part of the church. And that was built, or when they extended the choir, in 1280, Abbot Scarborough was the boss. And he, they wanted, because we're building York Minster now, in time, we are building York Minster. And the monks here at Selby wanted a great ornate choir, like York. <coughs> the abbot says, well, you can have it when you get some money. And so that choir was started by donations from the wealthy people. And I want to impress upon you that there was a lot of wealthy people in our country, sheep, breeding sheep, who were exporting wool. And in one point, and quite recently I saw a thing on the television where areas had been taken over by sheep, even towns, there were so many. So sheep were more or less taking the country over. Anyway, it's part of this thing in history that at Selby, I told you down by the river where they, you see, we had a barn down there, um, not Tithe Barn, it's still there today, and that's where they exported things from Selby Monastery, they actually exported things from here. Mm. And at that time, in monastic days, they taught the farmers how to grow corn. But they couldn't grind it. They had to bring it to the abbey to be ground, to the monastery to be ground. And then they had to give them so much back as, as the tithe. That's how the church kept going. But what I want to impress upon you, when in Scotland we sent food from Selby, round to Scotland. And quite recently, there was a programme on the television which stated that the troops at that period in Easter were so hungry in Scotland, they were, it wasn't cannibalism, they were eating the recently dead soldiers. Now, I was in the last war, so I, I know what this means. You know, not nice. But you've got to face up the facts, you can't keep polishing things over. So, uh, 